get this on the road. Hmm, something's fishy about this Mac Jones Kaboom that sold over the weekend. Buy it now offer. 130 points says this sold for $1,800, but you look here, something caught my eye. This is the exact same picture. This is the best offer accepted at $1,800, and this is the auction. And it's the exact same card. You see, I'm, I'm switching between windows here. Let's investigate this anomaly right here. Let's also look at some of the biggest performances over the weekend and what their rookie cards are doing. Let's look at the breaking news from Panini. I call it breaking news because there's been release dates just released for over 10 different brand new Panini 2021 products. And I want to get your feedback and your opinion on all these new sets and uh, show you some of the cards from them and what they look like, the proofs that have come out on them, and get your opinion on what you think about them. Let's look at the price points that they're currently at and how the, their sets are structured and the resources that I'm using to uh, find out about this and how you can use this to your benefit. So, let's dig in. And nothing is changing about the photos, the picture, the seller, other than the fact that it was sold November 7th in an auction for 2750 and then sold again in a buy it now just yesterday from this person right here, straight cards homie. Now, I don't know if this person was doing anything unethical at this point other than the fact that maybe it closed in the auction and the, uh, the winner of the auction did not pay. So I looked at the, the bids, and this is something else you could do. You can actually click on the number of bids there, and you can go and look at the bids. And uh, the person that ultimately won the auction at $27.50 had only 19 bids, so I thought that was pretty interesting. But this being one of Mac Jones' more most uh, collectible cards, it's a very rare card. It's a case hit from one of the newest products, Panini Absolute. I found this very interesting. And I'd love to hear you guys' feedback on what exactly you think happened here. Maybe it's just a, a case of uh, the, the winner of the original auction on November 7th not paying the seller. And so he canceled the transaction and relisted it in a buy it now format, taking the 1800 But why would he take it when he know I can see that this card is routinely closing out in auctions in buy it now formats for over for around twenty five hundred dollars so very interesting there but mac jones did lead the patriots to another win over the weekend uh mac jones continued he actually looked really good in the passing game yesterday they destroyed the cleveland browns 45 to 7. so we've got a big matchup tonight with the newly signed odell beckham jr on the la rams perfect how convenient of timing because Robert Woods just tore ACL on practice on Saturday, so i got to pour some out for my man, Bobby Trees. He's been so consistent for so many years, and I am a big Bobby Trees uh, rookie card holder, and I'm going to continue to hold them because I know he's going to make a comeback, and that guy is just so consistent over the course of his career. But the Dallas Cowboys absolutely destroyed the Atlanta Falcons on Sunday, 43-3. to Trayvon Diggs got going again in this game. I mean, it was, a, it was a massacre. In fact, this game was over by the end of the second quarter with a block punt, and Dallas moves to 7-2. and two. And one of the big performers from this game is C.D. Lamb. I mean, making a big statement to be signed for a big contract after his rookie deal is up, and he's going to need it with how much he's been fined lately. But um, I was looking at his rookie card sales, and this is something important that I think you can take away, that the base cards for 2020 rookies, because CeeDee Lamb is such a prime example because he is so young. He's such a good athlete. He's on a, arguably the biggest market team in the NFL, so he's got everything going for him to have you know, one of the most expensive rookie cards for a skill position player in the NFL. And and uh, when I look at the, the prices of his base prisms, closing out an auction between, you know, 3 and $5 type of stuff, just very, 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 very cheap. You can see best offers accepted around $3, $2. Uh, but his, his silver prism still going for around $180 to $100. Autograph stuff still going 
you know, for around $170 here. So I also looked at one of my other favorite cards from him. And this is another interesting takeaway. Uh, what I'm looking at here is that depending on the day of the week, depending on whether you have your card listed in auction or buy it now, the results you get from selling your card could be drastically different. So here's CD Lamb field level silver that sold in a buy it now on November 9th for $125. I popped over to 130 point com and this card sold for a hundred dollars best offer accepted but the sgc 9.5 also sold the same day best offer accepted for a hundred dollars the same exact price the last one they had before that was an auction on october 25th for 31 dollars. so you see how you could have potentially netted yourself a 70 dollar profit had you won this auction on october 25th and then flipped it in a buy it now format here on uh, Tuesday, November 9th. And, and now today, whenever I look at his, um, when I look at the field level silver sales on it, because this is a pretty rare card, there weren't any yesterday, and it's because the, the listings are very limited. And But you, you see an auction that ended just Friday that ended for $20.50. And the same day, a buy it now someone had thrown up there someone closed out for under $35. Um, and there's another auction that ended at $32. And then you scroll down just a couple days prior, you have a buy it now closing for $100. And that's that goes to the patience factor. That goes to, you know, just have knowing, understanding what market value is for your card and using the recently sold tool to look for things like this and understanding that there are people based on the market size and the athletic ability of this player, they absolutely will reach and will pay a, over and above what you see a lot of these cards closing for an auction for these cards. So you absolutely want to list your card in a buy it now format of a guy like CD Lamb or some of the other guys we're gonna talk about in today's video for elevated price points and let it sit. Because you look at the condition of this raw card, it's certainly not in 9.5 condition. You can see the dimples there around C.D. Lamb's name. I see one, two, three, four, five, about 10 dimples. These are things that are going to take away from the grade when you send it into an SGC or a PSA or BGS. And uh, those dimples are a big issue with the field level silvers especially, or any, any field level card. So I also want to look at C.D. Lamb's rookie ticket autos this is a this is one of the premium premium cards for any rookie in the nfl this card does very well in the market if you're new to the market investing in a rookie ticket auto of your favorite athlete is a fantastic investment both short term and long term you just want to be cognizant of the price point that you're getting in at so what we do to make sure that you know you're getting in at a good price point is you pit these guys against each other, right? Compare C.D. Lamb's rookie ticket auto to another very good 2020 rookie at athlete, uh, but one that is not in the limelight right now, one that is not blowing up all over the place. So you could look at the rookie ticket auto of uh, T. Higgins or Brandon IU. So you could see the C.D. Lamb optic-based rookie ticket auto. This is an on-card autograph. Love this card. Very liquid. Closed out an auction for $99. And you look at an auction that closed out yesterday for Brandon Ayuk. Same exact card, $29. So understand that when you're buying the CD Lamb at $100, you are playing, paying a premium based on the way he's been playing, based on the current spotlight on him, the, the, the power ranking factor around the Dallas Cowboys, the market size around the Dallas Cowboys. And you're, you're paying for all those factors and understand you're not getting in at the bottom or anywhere near the bottom, right? Uh, so just definitely something to take into consideration there. Also, we got to get back on this Patrick Mahomes watch as Patrick Mahomes had an incredible day yesterday. That's right. I'm going to skip right over the Buccaneers losing to the Washington football team. Probably the biggest upset from yesterday. Very disappointing game from my Buccaneers losing to the Washington football team. But Patrick Mahomes bounced back in a big way last night against the Raiders and um, threw some, some really nice touchdowns. Had over 
400 passing yards, 406 passing yards, a QB rating of 127.6. So this is probably one of the best games he's had so far this year. So we have got to go take a look and see what Patrick Mahomes, 2017 Donruss, Patrick Mahomes is right there on top. Don't have to look very hard. We want to see what those are currently now selling for. Have they gone back up? The optics for 385 and auction is still down. Yep. I mean PSA seven. But I mean they were they were dropping down big time. So base Donruss SGC nine for two hundred, still down. Uh, but I think this is kind of where we're gonna see them flatline. Like that was a big statement last night from Patrick Mahomes. But this right here, $128 auction today. I mean, these cards are literally at bottom right now. Patrick Mahomes is definitely a buy on his, his base cards at that price point. I mean, $128 is what they were in June, July of 2020 as the sports card market was heating up from the initial boom last summer. I mean, th this is a incredible still buying opportunities and then you go look at his prism and there's a psa 8 and i think it's very important to always invest in the player and the card before the grade and these prices right here are still very much down bgs 8.5 with three 9.5 subgrades 795 in auction only four bids so that kind of gives you an idea of the demand right now around uh, Patrick Mahomes. Some best offers being accepted. There's a, a, a nice base one sold yesterday. This, this is a great one because this closed an auction. You had 21 bids on it, sold for $787.79. So this is probably down around four or $500 at least from before the season when I saw auctions. And you can see there the condition of the card of this one is very good compared to that one I showed in last week's video with that giant um, dent in the card right here in the upper left quadrant. This one's very clean. This card looks great. Someone got him a, a good deal on this card. I mean, great, I think, long-term investment if uh, Patrick Mahomes can really turn around. I mean, obviously, he didn't fall far, if at all, in many fantasy experts' dynasty rankings after that little stretch he went through. Uh, when you look at the performance from last night, they really put it together well. Okay, uh, yes, Chase Young is done for the year with an injury out of that Bucks game, tore his ACL. Yes, the Buffalo Bills did have a dominant performance over the New York Jets, and Mike White may not be the next Josh Allen, okay? <laughs> so... Mike White may not be the next Josh Allen. We look at the uh, the box score here from Mike White. Struggled pretty bad. He had a quarterback rating of 33.4. Was actually taken out there towards the end for Joe Flacco. So there you have it on Mike White. Not so good for the, the Mike White investors and uh, the Jets fans that were sold on him. Jonathan Taylor continues to be a dominant number one running back in the NFL. I think you can still find a little bit of value on his on his rookie cards. Detroit did not get a win, but they did get a tie. <laughs> so that is a win for them. TJ Watt MRIs came back negative, so that's good for him. His season is not done. Carolina shut down Colt McCoy. Uh, Cardinals are really starting to now suffer without Kyler Murray behind center. And they, they the Panthers put out some trickery, man. You had... Cam Newton getting on the field in goal line situations, making uh, having a touchdown. P.J. Walker played bad, 74.9 uh, QB rating. Uh, Cam actually had 11.72. He only, only four attempts, three completions, though, with a touchdown, and he also had a rushing touchdown. He had three carries, 14 yards, and a, and a rushing touchdown. So he had two touchdowns in yesterday's game. A little disappointing for people who started P.J. Walker, but Cam is back in action. There was a flurry of rookie card sales on Cam whenever he made his, his agreement with the Panthers. Minnesota getting a big win over the Chargers, and so this is another um, guy. Justin Jefferson broke out big time yesterday, guys. Jeff's Justin Jefferson cannot be stopped.
And I expect Justin Jefferson to be at a similar level because of the breakout performance and because, I mean, the Vikings aren't out of it yet, man. They're, they're not, like... They're struggling, that's, that's, that's for sure, but they're definitely not out of it yet. PSA 10 for 330, so still definitely under 207, 180. We're going back, we're getting back to October, and you can see the, the, the rookie ticket autos are fairly rare. I mean, this one's numbered out of, let's see, this closed today in auction for 157, and numbered out of 49. This is actually a good deal, but you see what happened here. The seller ended their auction Monday morning at 9.41 a.m. Not a good time to end your auction. Not a good time to end your auction at all. Uh, I want to see if this card's got any noticeable issues. Looks like there may even be some little bit of corner damage on this card. Hard to tell in this picture, but I, uh, I'm not... See, that, see how that corner has a little white on that tip that's not good you don't really want to see that it looks like uh nicked up corners there looks like justin jefferson may be uh, closer to cd lamb in value but still under him all right well, let's look at all the new releases from panini and, and the resource that i like to actually use you could use cardboard connection or beckett but i love to come over here to steelcitycollectibles.com because right under their shop they have football cards and you can go to uh their release calendar 2021 football cards you click on that and you click on the release schedule and it'll show you the release schedule and they update this con constantly I, I feel that their up website because they're running a business here they're a distributor of uh, panini manufactured sports card and, and tops and bowman and all the, all major sports and major um, trading card products because of this they're updating their release schedule and their calendars constantly and i feel like they're updating them more often than beckett then cardboard connection which i feel are a little bit more clunky and um, not updated as often and so when i come in here i go to their release schedule i just do a control f on my keyboard i just do a control f on my keyboard and type in football and then click the down button and you can see okay there's 11 uh, 18 so we're going to keep going down there's other stuff you may be interested in some mini helmets or some autographed jerseys that are released or Onyx Vintage College Football. It's an unlicensed product. It's not going to have actual team logos and stuff, but it does have some pretty interesting autographs. But Panini XR, so that'll be the first major release. And you see this release is on December 1st. And Panini XR, I've, I've definitely gotten into their cards in the past. They have their, this is the base card here in the Brady. That doesn't look bad, honestly. I kind of like the look of it. It's like an explosion behind Brady. The autograph Trevor Lawrence. Uh, the Rookies X, I, I think the colors behind that looks pretty cool. And I know it's kind of small on my screen. It's it's kind of hard to, to blow it up on here. That's the only knock on this is I can't really blow that up anymore. I've tried many different ways. Uh, so you just have to kind of zoom in. But then they have these logo, these logo patches, which are pretty cool. You know those are definitely going to be serial numbered, very short print, rare cards. So the hobby configuration seven cards per pack two packs is per box so you get 14 cards four hundred dollars but you're going to get two autographs one mem card and insert four parallels per box on average find one of one autograph per case on average so uh that's that's interesting i want to hear what your thoughts are on xr and then next up we have on december 8th panini spectra and spectra has always released some very beautiful cards in the past and this is no exception. Look at the base neon splatter. And, and almost all of the cards in Spectra are numbered. And they're like really thick, uh, thick card stock. So I think these look really cool right here off the bat. I mean, I'm loving all the colors and the swirls, like this vortex that these players are popping out of. And look at that awesome. Look at that patch on that Trevor Lawrence right there. That psychedelic, man. That's cool. That's very cool. Retrospect, autographs, neon pink. Peyton Manning, that's a cool card with a Peyton Manning auto. Probably a sticker, but nonetheless, you got a Jerome Bettis. So you got some uh, some veteran Hall of Fame players in there. You got neon, neon Knights, Justin Fields. That's an interesting card that I think will be pretty high, highly collectible. Um, you got the Trey Lance, Black Lights. So Spectra is always very much a... Uh, a hobby card one of the hobby favorites uh, it's not super popular among investors but they are very short print and i i you know 
I see that the more and more that our hobby evolves and continues to mature, you want to invest like a collector. So um, you want to you want to invest like a collector. You want to invest in the cards that people are going to want to collect, and because collectors will pay a premium for uh, nice cards that they want or must have in their collection. So some of these are very cool. I'm loving that white auto there on the Trey Lance, and uh, this one is. $1,400 for a hobby box and you're going to get four packs per box and four cards per pack. So 16 cards. You're going to get one RPA rookie patch auto, three additional autograph cards, four memorabilia cards, seven base parallels variation, and one insert. So not, not terrible. Is that going to pay off for $1,400? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that. Then you have Imme uh, impeccable impeccable schedule to release on december 15th on pre-sale right now for two thousand dollars this is eight cards eight cards for two thousand dollars guys i would love to hear your your um, opinion on this you have the indelible ink there that amari cooper uh so these are i think going to be all on card autos you have some very interesting memorabilia stuff you have an elegance rookie helmet and team logo gold uh, we know how the golds do very well in the hobby. Canvas Creations. That Canvas Creations of Aaron Rodgers there looks really cool. Rookie Patch Autos Gold. Another beautiful Trevor Lawrence. Impeccable Logo Autographs. That's CMC. Um, Master Stroke. Silver USA Flag. So Impeccable. And as you'll see, Impeccable tends to put actual gold silver diamonds into their cards uh it's pretty incredible so that's where you're going to find some of these cards at so when you look at eight cards for two thousand dollars there's i think a decent chance that it could pay off i'd love to hear your opinion on this guys it releases december 15th i'm sure some people some high-end hobbyists are definitely going to be getting this product for christmas <laughs> eight pack one pack one pack guys eight cards but you're looking for five autographs and then three base or parallel cards per box on average. Five autographs. You, you think that would pay off for two thousand dollars? This is a 2021 product. Uh, Justin Fields is looking better and better on a weekly basis. Mac Jones is very hot right now, and you know we haven't really seen much as from Trey Lance uh, since a few weeks ago when he played the one game with a knee injury. Didn't look great, so uh, he, they kind of deemed him not ready, you know, to play yet. We know Zach Wilson sidelined right now. From that knee injury but wasn't playing really great at all before that uh next up we have illusions and, and trevor lawrence obviously on jacksonville jaguars uh, uh, other than the fact that they beat the um <laughs> they beat the buffalo bills last week i mean he's really just he's struggling he's a struggling rookie they're struggling on a lot of levels in jacksonville and it's just i mean all in all not playing terrible but he's not playing generational either i mean he's kind of off, and, and maybe you could correlate that with the way Peyton Manning or Troy Aikman started their career. Maybe this is just the rocky beginnings for him. So uh, Illusions is next up, releasing on December 17th. And this is 10 packs per box, five cards per pack. So you're actually getting 50 cards in Illusions. It's only $500. And uh, let's look at that. Let's look at the base cards. You know, you got that, that Flair showcase, that Flair showcase look from back in the day that illusions is known for the king of cards the trophy collection wild card that's the rookie idols dual memorabilia gold the deja vu gold those are some pretty interesting cards coming out of illusions this year the limelight signatures i gotta say some of these look pretty cool man i'm interested to get uh, see them up close and really look at the details on them these hollow heroes that's a pretty interesting looking card this hollow heroes very interesting shape I'm not crazy about the horizontals, but I do like hollow type stuff, and, and I like the um, I like that that kind of multiple portrait style, like an you know an action pose of a player transposed on a portrait behind them. I think those are kind of some really cool images there. So that that's an interesting. You're looking for three autographs, two mem cards, five parallels, and ten acetate inserts parallels per box on average, and then. On 12-22, December 22nd, just three days before Christmas, we've got Mosaic. That's right, guys. Panini's coming back in a big way with Mosaic again this year. Finally announced, finally being released right before Christmas. 
and this is the hobby the no huddle box actually this is the no huddle box for 450 18 packs 18 packs of eight cards per pack so a lot of cards and the hit rate is kind of low compared to some of the other ones one autograph three silvers 10 no huddle parallels five inserts and one rookie variation not sure this is worth it just kind of my opinion right off the bat um this is an interesting hexagon design almost like a idea bubble starting with the the team helmet there in the bottom left and a bigger hexagon giant hexagon behind uh, baker mayfield there and that's the base card so they're going to be color matched for the players and it's going to be this hexagon geometrical design and then you have your no huddle uh base rookies their uh, parallels and you have a base super bowl mvps mosaic no huddle silver that's interesting I, I wonder that's definitely a veteran throwback card i don't see tom that's not tom in his bucks uniform <laughs> Rookie variations, no huddle. The Stairmasters, Mosaic Blue, no huddle. So you got some no huddle variations in this. I thought I think one car that's going to be pretty uh, collectible, people are going to definitely want, is the gold. And they got straight fire on there. It's like they've been, uh, you know, watching the tweets from Card Twitter and Instagram from some of these guys, and um, it just seems like jargon that we would we would use to describe some some cards that people pull and whatnot. Straight fire. <laughs> That card is straight fire. So it really is straight fire. That's a straight fire card, Mosaic Gold. So, and you got these these interesting die cut busted cards. So um, interesting there. Love to hear your opinion on the no huddle box. And then you have this Prism Mosaic Football Choice Box. And this choice box has two choice rookies and then three exclusive mosaics. So they've got some exclusive, uh, they've created some chase cards in a, in a parallel now mosaic box release. and. These Mosaic Choice Black Gold Autographs and Rookie Autographs Mosaic Choice Fusion Red and Yellow with an interesting like uh, spider web, almost little crazy design in the background. Not sure if that's worth it at all for the Choice Box. It's an extra $100 for those Chase cards. And then the actual Mosaic Hobby Box, straight Mosaic Hobby Box, is 10 cards, 10 packs per box, 15 cards per pack. So now we're talking uh, 150 cards. I believe my math is correct. Yeah, yeah, 150 cards. Uh, two autographs, five silvers, 15 mosaics, and 20 inserts. I'm wondering if that's worth it for $750. I feel like that would be worth it. Like, if it was $200, I would buy it all day. But at $750, I don't know if I can... Because what I'm showing you guys is there has been no release dates yet still announced. Out of all these 10 products, no release dates yet announced for Prism, Optic, or Select. And you have all these other sets. Some of the ones I'm about to show you look absolutely incredible. Immaculate, $2,000 per hobby box, six cards per pack, one pack per box. And uh, this is another one, only six cards for $2,000. And you, you, but. They're saying you get five autographs or memor or memorabilia cards and one base. What if you get all five memorabilia cards and the memorabilia is not from a game or any specific event? That would suck. That would not pay off at all. But if you get an RPAs like this with the logos, the team logos in there, those look incredible, man. Those rookie patch autos with the NFL shield, the premium rookie patch auto gold, the immaculate signatures patch rookie gold, Mac Jones there. Absolutely incredible. We know these are going to be serial numbered cards, very rare cards. Look at the cleat on that one. The cleat impressions autograph from Josh Allen. You know people are going to spend buku money on that kind of stuff, the Hall of Fame signatures. That's some pretty cool stuff right there. Immaculate dual NFL shields, uh, nameplate nobility signatures, rookie reserve brand logo. So very interesting i'm wondering if it's worth it like what the the hit rate on that would be um and then obsidian which i think obsidian is this is now going out to february 2nd but obsidian looks absolutely incredible i think the designs on obsidian look really cool this is the base card you know and this they're they're known for this like etching type of uh, celtic you know nordic look to it and i think they I think they're very cool backgrounds. Make the player pop big time. Uh, I'm a fan of the Obsidian product. And then you have this Rookie Electric Edge Gold Flood. 
this jer I want to get more obsidian in my personal collection. I feel like I, I, obsidian would look really good on the wall back here. You imagine like this, even the base obsidian in an SGC slab, I think would look really cool. Um, and then you have their jersey, their jersey inks, the rookie patch autos. So, and then there was this. I noticed this, which was released in, uh, I believe, Prism last year, in 2020 Prism. They released the Color Blast. And look at this, Obsidian coming with a Color Blast Black. So that's going to be an SSP case hit card right there that's going to be highly collectible, highly valuable. A case, a Color Blast Black. I think that looks really cool. Honestly, I like the Color Blast on the black background a lot better than I do the white. I think it makes it pop a lot more. This is a really cool electric etch Contra card. There, uh, a Russ there who, yeah, man, struggled, struggled big time, man. They got shut out by the Green Bay Packers yesterday. I didn't even talk about them, but they got shut out by the Green Bay Packers yesterday. And then we got Limited. Limited's also uh, another card that it's not one of those super premiums. I think it's more on the same level as uh, like an Illusions um or or even like uh obsidian it, you know there's definitely people that like limited i think limited has i've seen a lot of autograph stuff but it's typically been sticker from what i've seen in the past so they have some interesting cards i'm i'm kind of digging the design right here on the base limited card i like that i like those like those slices of color going back and forth with the player in the middle almost like a little field level type of flair to it the rookie autograph gold spotlight i think that looks really cool especially for a cowboys player there um some pretty neat stuff man so i'm i'm really digging the designs this year so far except for the base donruss i'm not a fan honestly i think the absolute that was recently released looks better than this base donruss but let's look at the limited uh no prices yet no prices yet it's actually out of stock sold out quick so got a lot of uh collectors and investors on that limited um this mvp odds is as of november 10th so we'll pull that up later in the week see how that's changed yeah so you know part of my mike evans super collector hunt is to build a rainbow mike evans prisms hell yeah right love me some mike evans uh had a beautiful he did have a beautiful touchdown grab yesterday got him another one with mr mr brady there in the game in the second half and I'm looking on this Mike Evans, and I'm like, so one resource you guys can utilize is tcdb.com, tradingcarddatabase.com. Shout out to David Hunter, made me aware of this website. Really cool. You can search for a specific card set, and then you can look at all the parallels, and it'll show you the variation. So here I am thinking that Mike Evans had two, maybe three photo variations from the 2014 Prism, his Prism rookie card. No. There's five, guys. There is five. And so you can go in here and you can look and say, okay, um, you know, I, I want to build a rainbow on this one right here. And, and you want to see, so this is the base one, right? This is short print. And the way I'm kind of thinking about it, I think that the further you go down this list, the more short print it is. So this is going to be the rarest one. And then you can uh, click into this card. And you can go, you can go around in here, and you can actually build out a. Um, you can you can build out your rainbow. You can see which uh, colors and which parallels he was printed in. I was able to actually go and price out what it would cost to build a Mike Evans rainbow, several thousands of dollars. Um, the gold one itself is the most expensive one that I found, and it was going like I actually got a uh, an offer from the guy. Uh, contemplating but it's like way out of my budget right now it's like eight hundred dollars so something just very interesting resource you can look at but I, I learned a lot about 2014 prism which is one of my favorite prism sets and i learned that mike evans had five different photo variations and uh aj Dillon with my man aaron jones now sidelined for a couple weeks with the mcl we already saw aj Dillon creeping up in snapshare and carries opportunities from AJ Dillon uh from um Aaron Jones vulturing some carries and targets from him well now he's going to get the spotlight for the next couple weeks this man is also an avid collector himself I've been talking about it I talked about it all season long guys this is probably one of your last shots to start continue to buy low on AJ Dillon for a while just saying I'm going to leave you with that 
I'll be back real soon in that next video. Peace. Oh man, gotta, gotta shake off a little little rust from the. It wasn't so good yesterday, man. Brady did have two picks, but only one of those was his fault. So, but our, our defense failed to stop Gibson, man. We let we let Heineke get a couple passes on us. Oh man, that was um, that was a rough game to watch, man. So I think the Bucks though they're just playing possum right now. We're kind of taking it easy, you know. We're kind of taking it easy. We'll turn it on. You know how Brady is. We'll turn it on at the end of the season when we get going into the playoffs. We're still luckily in first place in the NFC South with the Saints also losing yesterday. Tennessee Titans, that was good. That was awesome. 